Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Wu! <laughs> My god, look. Ah, oh, perfect timing. I'd hope it has to before I had to go to the boat. Henry, why didn't you tell me? You know I insist on being present when they're born. Yes, it's kind of creepy, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> they imprint on the first living creature they come in contact with. It helps them to trust me. Now that's science. <laughs> I've been present for the birth of every animal on this island. Well, uh, surely not the ones uh, bred in the, in the wild. Actually, they can't breed in the wild. There is no unauthorized breeding in Jurassic Park. And uh, how do you know that they can't breed? Because all the animals in Jurassic Park are females. Females? Nice. <laughs> Then again, how, how, do, you, how, how uh, do you know that they're all females? Uh, do you go into the park and uh, pull up the dinosaur's skirts? <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaurs don't have skirts. No skirts. Nice. <laughs> how do you get DNA from a dinosaur that's been extinct for millions of years? Mosquitoes bite dinosaurs. Mosquitoes get stuck in amber. We extract the blood. It's incredibly simple. No, that's uh, not science. That's not actually a thing. <gasps> oh, you're a mad scientist, aren't you? <laughs> you couldn't possibly get a whole strand of DNA from doing that. No, you're right. We have to complete the strand with other things. Frog DNA, for instance. The dinosaurs are 90% dinosaur, 5% frog, 3% Nicki Minaj, and 2% Kathy LaPont. <laughs> John, the, the, the kind of control you're attempting here is not possible. If the history of evolution has taught us anything, it's that Paddy Lapone will not be contained. <laughs> Life will not be contained. Life breaks free. It, it, it expands into new territories. It crashes through barriers. It covers some mixed lot songs painfully and maybe even dangerously. And well, there it is. You're implying that a group composed entirely of females Good breed? Well, I'm uh, simply saying that uh, life uh, finds a way. Just me and Papa Moose. They Papa Moose, they start a tabla. You may not kiss the fire. Oh, baby. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I know, it's very exciting. And scary. And scary. Oh. <laughs> what, what species is this? I call it an odd two. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, it's Velociraptor. You bred raptors. Yes! Isn't that wicked? <laughs> oh, they're perfectly tame! Come and see for yourselves! Turbo ah, yeah. Well, feathers are lame, and lame doesn't turn a profit. We pluck the dinosaurs once a week. <laughs> you know that has it made. These are wild predators that will kill anything they set their eyes on. Oh, oh pish tush. Come on, girls, let's show them. Oh, oh. <laughs> Think of all that lies ahead. All these creatures once were dead. Now watch this raptor dance team. They're not as rough as they seem. Safe behind this fence. We spare no expense. Yes, it's true, they're dinosaurs. And soon they too will be on tour. Look at their lips. Eating up the cake. What? Oh, no, no. Ignore sport and superstition from 
Maar ook geen artiesten voor kids. Niet al keer. Jurassic Park will be my greatest adventure. Every visit will be an adventure. Keep it up. Oh, in the zoo, the elephants must be that you can see the sense of the best. Dr. Grant here. And don't call me Shirley. But 
John, why don't we go someplace cooler than this with cooler people and fewer lawyers? John, you'll never make a profit. Oh, oh yeah? You, you, you think you can just throw around jargon like that? You're the only one who knows big words? If I had a time machine, do you know what I would do? I would travel back in time and I would burn down Harvard Law. I would never become a lawyer. I would instead go where there's an ice fisherman in northern Canada where I would hopefully be frozen into a block of ice to die peacefully and soundproofly. There are no dinosaurs. There are no Scottish people. <laughs> That's all I'd like. Uh, you know what's cool? Uh, one flap, one butterfly's wings, and uh, that could happen for you. Chaos theory. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone has a right to see these animals, not just the super rich. Oh, we can have a coup on there or something. No, 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 no one should see these animals. Don't you two see the danger inherent in what you're doing here? Oh, 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 I can't wait to hear this. You see, the problem with the uh, scientific power you've used, John, is that it requires no, no discipline to attain it. You simply read what others had done, and you took the next step. You didn't earn the knowledge yourselves, therefore you don't take responsibility for it. You stood on the shoulders of, of geniuses to accomplish something as quick as you could, and before you knew what you had, you, you you patented it, packaged it, slapped it on a lunchbox, and now you're selling it. You're selling it. Ian, you're not giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things that no one could ever do before. You all saw Mr. DNA. Oh, oh that doesn't really help your argument. <laughs> <laughs> that round against God should be put out of its misery. <laughs> Lovely singing voice, that one. Oh, yes, no one's debating that. <laughs> you see, your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not that they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. What is the big deal? I gave an extinct species a second chance. Dugongs. Dugongs are on the verge of extinction. If I were to clone a flock of dugongs, oh my, I should be writing this down. <laughs> dugongs don't flock, John. Oh, well, all right, a murder of dugongs. No. <laughs> all right, if I were to clone a flock of dugongs, Ian, you would have nothing to say. That is. The Beatles? The Beatles are on the verge of extinction. <laughs> oh. If I were to clone the band The Beatles, you'd have nothing to say about it at all. Oh boy. No, this this isn't some band that was obliterated by a fan of Catcher in the Rye or by doing a duet with Kanye West. No. <laughs> <laughs> had their chance, and nature selected them for <laughs> extinction. What? Dinosaurs and the Beatles. <laughs> Two species separated by millions of years of evolution have been suddenly thrown back in the mix together. And well, we don't have the faintest idea of what to expect. Sweetie? I think maybe you're missing the point here. Yeah. These dinosaurs don't even have skirts, John! The atrocities you created on this island! Listen, you gothic math tutor from hell! I will not have you throwing around words that I don't understand. <laughs> I want to hear every viewpoint. I really do. Your funeral. We can get the dinosaurs skirts. 